Welcome back crew to Boats vs. Hallover, where main and machine take on Mother Nature, typically down at Hallover Inlet, but today it looks like we got Lady and Machine tackling it up at Boca. Welcome back, let's see how our Captain's Fair crew is, they all step in the ring and try and do battle with Boca Inlet. And let's go ahead and move into our first round where we're going to feature a Regal stepping in the ring and let's see how our Captain does. Right now they're taking that slow roll approach. Not necessarily recommended, but it is a big day here at Boca. As you can tell, this boat is rocking and rolling. Gonna be a rough outage for this crew as they try and work their way out. You can see we've got white caps off in the background. We've got some rollers, breakers, a little bit of everything being tossed here. And this crew is taking one rough ride. They do wind up making it out of the inlet, but I gotta imagine they look a little terrified and they're probably gonna remember this one. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and give this first round to Boca. And that's gonna bring us to the second round of our competition where we're going to feature a Sea Pro as the boys come out to try and tackle Boca. This one's gonna be interesting. It's definitely a small boat. We've got some big waves today. Kind of scared for this crew a little bit. Let's see how they handle this. No! And our cameraman, Big Mike, it appears he's become distracted by another vessel that's out here. This crew is working their way out. They too are taking the slow roll approach, trying to take it easy, but our party crews left Boca and it looks like they'll make it out without issue and take a win for the boats. And that's gonna bring us to the third round of our contest, tied at one apiece, and we're gonna have an Everglade stepping into the ring for the third round. And we got a guy up in the bow of the boat. It looks like he's trying to talk this crew out of it. Like, bro, you don't wanna be up here with what we're about to go through. And I'm gonna be honest, he's probably correct. If somebody ever comes up to you in the front of the boat and says, hey, you guys don't want to do this, get to the back, I would probably go ahead and move because they probably know what they're talking about. But our crew's decided they're going to try and battle it out. And here we go. Cap's letting her rip into the inlet. And our crew, immediate regret. I guarantee it. One of the ladies is trying to work her way back already. And the rest of the crew in this bow is in for one heck of a ride as we start working our way out of Boca. Here we can see they're hanging on. Captain's doing what he can to try and keep this boat moving, just barely up on plane, but trying to take it easy enough not to cause any damage to anybody sitting up front, but still just a risky move. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to Boca Inlet. Now this is gonna give Boca the slight edge two to one as we move into the fourth round of our contest where a front runner is gonna step in the ring and try and do battle with the inlet. But on top of that, it appears we've got a bow rider. I don't know, let's see how this one fares. Will this be immediate regret or will our crew be able to hang on and take a win for the boats? So Cap's leaning into the throttles a little bit, trying to pick up the pace. This is a pretty big vessel. The crew in the bow appears to be hanging on. I see the girl throwing her hands in the air and our crew will make it out without issue and wind up taking a win for the boats. And that's gonna bring us to the fifth and final round of our competition, tied it to a piece. Who'll take a win? Will it be the boats or Boca? Let's go. And here we've got a large pursuit and drain toward the mouth of the inlet. Looks pretty good. This crew's up on plane, but they've got another boat in front of them and they lay on the horn. Trying to let the jet ski know they're coming through and they're gonna barrel around the jet ski, but they did that wrong. It's not the right horn signal to let somebody know you're passing them on that side. Basically, they just laid on the horn, like get the heck out of my way kind of deal. And the jet ski does, and the boats will make it in, but still a dangerous move. And for that reason, actually, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Boca, and Boca's going to take the win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Haulover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.